Veterans Day is Tuesday, and if you are a veteran, you're in luck. A number of organizations, attractions, and restaurants are all offering special benefits and discounts this week to veterans and their families. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon is in the newsroom with details on all these great deals. Yeah, lots of great deals, and you know, groups in Middle Tennessee always come together to thank veterans and their families for their service, and this year is no different. And things actually get started today. Active military personnel and their families, as well as veterans, can get into the Nashville Zoo for free. It is military. Military Appreciation Day from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Visitors must show their military ID, veteran organization ID, or other official military identification to get in free. There will also be booths featuring military support organizations in addition to the normal zoo attractions. Now on Tuesday, Tennessee State Parks will be offering veterans one free night of camping and or complimentary round of golf. Just provide your military ID. Great Clips locations will be offering free haircuts for veterans, and Harris Teeter stores are offering veterans 11% off their total purchase. Also on Tuesday, there are countless restaurants offering free food to veterans, from free donuts and coffee at Krispy Kreme to dessert at Cracker Barrel. Also, Texas Roadhouse, Marco's Pizza, Applebee's, Chili's, Golden Corral, O'Charlie's, and Olive Garden, and many more will be offering free meals. Just present your military ID at the restaurant. And you may want to check with that restaurant ahead of time just to confirm those offers. And there will also be parades in several Middle Tennessee cities on Tuesday. We'll have coverage of that coming up this week. Jennifer, back to you. All right, Emily, thank you. Friends and neighbors are still struggling with the murder of a wife and mother at her home in Springfield. We spoke yesterday with the family of Samantha Parker, and while they declined to talk on camera, they told us that she has a large family in Greenbrier, and they're all coming together now to get through this difficult time. Meanwhile, the Parker's neighbors are also still trying to make sense of the horrific crime. But it is scary and unfortunate, so. Samantha's husband, Joseph Parker, called 911 on Friday morning to say that he had shot his wife. Authorities found her body in the couple's home on Clydesdale Lane. Parker later shot and killed himself after leading police on a pursuit that crossed into Kentucky. Authorities have yet to release a motive in the murder. We do know that the couple had celebrated their 12th anniversary the day of the shooting. The investigation continues into the death of a man whose body was found in the Cumberland River yesterday. Canoers in Ashland City called police around 3 o'clock saying they had spotted the body on a riverbank near River Road in Cheatham County. The body was taken to the medical examiner's office for an autopsy to determine the cause of death. Police are not saying whether they suspect foul play. A would-be burglar wasn't exactly on the top of his game when he tried to break into a store early yesterday morning. Police say Chadrick Martin tried to smash his way into the Shell Corner Market on Bender's Ferry Road in Mount Juliet. They know this because he was caught on the store's security camera. At one point, he looked directly into the lens, as you saw there, and tried to adjust it. Neighbor heard the storm's alarm and called police. When officers arrived, they say they found Martin sitting in a chair across the street from the store. He told them he had tried to break into a bank as well, but was unsuccessful there as well. He has been charged with attempted burglary. A town hall meeting will be held later this afternoon to discuss the latest in Metro Schools' third way plan for the Stratford Maplewood cluster in East Nashville. A parent led coalition called East Nashville United will host today's meeting at 345 at the East Park Community Center on Woodland Street. The group has invited Director of Schools Dr. Jesse Register, Executive Director of the Office of Innovation Dr. Alan Coverstone, and School Board Member Alyssa Kim to take part in the meeting as well. Imagine getting stopped by <clears throat> police who want to search your car for cash. Our exclusive policing for profit investigation continues tomorrow with a California couple story about what happened to them right here in Middle Tennessee. Here's a peek at the story from Phil Williams. You have to give me a yes or no. I do need an answer so I can figure out whether I need a dog to go around it or not. I was getting upset because, you know, he was kept on, like, asking me over and over, and I said, you have no reason to search my car. Get ready, dog. That's when agents brought out a drug dog to sniff around their car. If that dog does not hit, they don't get to search your car. No. There's no probable cause. But that's exactly what happened. We ran a dog, and the dog's alerted on the vehicle, so we're going to be searching, okay? And whatever's in there, we're going to find in just a second. Ronnie was furious. There's never been any drugs in that vehicle and never will be. You can see this latest chapter in Phil's policing for profit investigation tomorrow night at 6 o'clock.